All right, so I'm gonna take the four screws out of the door that are holding this door on, and we'll get into this hole. I always leave the main door open and typically if if light allows I'll turn this main light off so any bees that come out that was one question that was asked what about all the bees that enter the room well the bees just fly out into the daylight they always drawn towards daylight so it's not a big deal now you get a few bees in here but for the most part they all go out okay so the door just kind of comes off and I always take it just to the outside of the building because there's a few bees on the door, on the, the panel itself and some wax. In fact, if you look here, you can see they've built some burr comb on this uh, plastic. And what this is, is greenhouse, double layer greenhouse uh, polycarbonate panels. You pick up, a, I got them at Home Depot and I cut them to fit. So I set this out here, the bees that are on it will just fly around and go right back to their to their home. And you can see on the bottom I have some dead bees that are going to need to be vacuumed up. Uh, so we'll do that before we shut this all in. The main reason I want to get into this hive now, like I said, these, this hive swarmed out on me oh, a while back during the middle of summer, or at least I'm assuming that's what's happened because the numbers have gone down. Now that I'm finally home from fire season, I can actually get in here and check it. So let's just start on this top. So what I had to do, I, I made a hive tool. I just took a normal hive tool. And then on this lip, I had to thin it down so it's not quite as thick this way coming out. That way I could slide it between the layers of the frames like this. So let's pull this empty frame out. And I use all uh, uh, wedge top bars, and a lot of times I'll either put a wax strip in or nothing, just let the bees build off of that. I'll flip that little wedge top bar link uh, over so it creates a lip for the bees to start on. Sometimes I'll wax it. But we're, what we're looking for now is we want to see evidence of a queen and that they're actually going to build, be building back up. And then I built this rack on the door so I can hang frames on while I'm working the hive. And you can tell right here off this frame that the bees swarm because they're swarm cells all over this particular frame. Okay, I am seeing cat brood. Let's see if we can't find this little queen. Now, if I see the queen, I won't hang her up here simply because I don't want her chance falling off. But if you look on the bottom edge of this frame, you can see all these queen cells that are hatched. And like I said, I was gone all summer doing fire, and so uh, I just can't help it. It's just, it is what it is. The bees kind of do what they do at that point. Queen's not on this frame. But I hang them up in order, so as I put them back in, they'll uh, go right back in how they came out. This is a good sign though, seeing these, this cap through. There's not a lot of it. You can come up here closer. I can see larva, I see capped brood. Um, you can see how they're propolizing in and waxing up here on the screen. No big deal. 
still allows good ventilation. So what I'll do is I stick my frame tool in and wait till it drops down behind the, the next frame and then I just use it like a pry. I hear it just drop in. Then I'll just pry it and loosen up the where they propolize this, this edge and then I go over and do the same to the opposite edge. I just pull the frame out. There's a queen right here. She is right there. Pretty little yellow queen. Bees are being gentle. I wore my bee suit because we're in the middle of dearth right now. And uh, they tend to get a little testy when there's not a lot of food out there. And the yellow jackets up here are absolutely miserable this year. Um, and so they're kind of been fighting those. All right, where'd she go? I want to make sure she's in the middle of the frame before I... She might have ran around to the other side. I'm going to put this frame back in. I don't need to go any deeper in the hive. You guys get the basic idea of how I get into this hive now. Now she has to be on the other side. Let's find her. Watch where you step on her just in case she fell. Why am I not seeing her? Oh, here she is. She's right on the top. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now that I know right where she's at, slide this frame back in. And sometimes you gotta, and I probably should have did that when I had this frame out. Now, now she ran back to the other side. These frames will get, you guys know how it goes with proper propolis so you really glue stuff in and that does kind of become a problem with the style hive but not a huge deal this hive here I'm looking at it I probably should feed these bees they don't have a ton of stored honey what I can do is I got frames of stored honey below I can just move up There's a plenty of honey in this hive, I guess. Just these top things are a little, little light on honey. But let's move up. Uh, here's a good frame of honey down here low. Solid frame. Wow. Let's just move these. There's actually two here. <laughs> a medium. For some reason I got a medium in here. Let's move this, frame, this deep frame up. There. Now they're completely stocked on honey. I'll just stick this one in down here. And seeing that I don't have my vacuum sitting here, you guys probably don't need to see that. I'll just brush these bees out of the bottom for now. So, the hardest part of this style hive, of course you got to grind this lip down and you stick in your hive tool and just kind of work it and it'll pull the frames out and you grab them and move them out. Not a big deal, I've gotten used to it. It's a little more challenging I guess you could say than the standard Langstroth, but you have access to all the frames. And sometimes what I'll do, if I'm going to disassemble the whole hive, if I want to really look over the entire hive, I'll bring in a deep box set it here on the ground in front of me and I'll pull them out and set them right into that deep where I can go through all these frames and uh, check it out. So I hope that answers your guys' questions on this bee house. If you have any more, post below and I'll try to answer what I can.